Fish humidity 72%, no wind, so no real environmental factors that the athletes need to be overly concerned about as we get ready for the introduction in the men's javelin. And now Kumar, this is where, boy, they're just so strong in the throwing events, India. So 25.19, they want to go 26, makes it look effortless. Be again, maybe similar to his previous throw. 25.94. Well, just short of 26 metres. Now Bondori. Oh, great height. Gang just continues to put the pressure on everybody else. At 28.28. So, Chamoli of India. Looking to go beyond 25 metres. Forward, so it does get up to the 25 meter mark and there it is so it will be Bondori 28.28 new games record congratulations to all the medalists the zone getting their nervous systems up while that is running we'll also have the men's long jump T47 final Now, Wang Hao, Asian record holder, current defending champion, on his way. 702 is the number at the moment. Oh, just comes up. But he knows what he's capable of and will make the adjustment. And at 698, so just short of the seven metres. Kasanov, who leads at 7.02. Oh, great speed, great height again. I think he's gone beyond seven metres. Be close to his first. Once you do get past those markers, well, I think that's comfortably beyond seven metres and look, still so much room. He's just got so much speed down the runway. Just gives him that advantage from the takeoff. Look at him. Wonderful extension then, just that rotation of the body, 7.21. So, continues to put the pressure on early. And now, Zhou, People's Republic of China. Currently sitting in the silver medal position. Could love to go well beyond six and a half. Oh, that is a good jump. Really good jump. And there he goes, 673, so easily his best. It will be a gold medal to him, whatever happens. 711, and there it is. 721, in fact, was his best. 702, of course, was that early jump, so there you go, gold medal to this man here. Did it comfortably in the finish. The only athlete to go beyond seven. Mark Holt will pick up the silver. Xiao Yalong, the bronze from the People's Republic of China. Now we'll go to the men's shot put F12 final, those athletes with official impairment. Top of Uzbekistan. And another very good throw, too. So they're all increasing. All starting to put it all together. 
an interesting technique. Goes across to that left side and then brings that rotation across. It is about that shoulder and hip rotation. That's where a lot of the power does come from. So there you go, 15.37, it is game on. And now Sham Shiri looking to go beyond 14 metres comfortably. Gets height. And will go possibly his best throw too. Be around the 14.20, 14.30 mark. Have to wait for it. There you go, 14-14. So, his best throw as well. Now, the man from Uzbekistan, Sultanov. Can he go 15 metres? No, nope, come up short of the 15 metre mark. This man here, Park Buzz take the gold medal at the moment. Sultanov not happy. Some days you turn up and you just don't quite click, other days you do. A lot to like about him. It's difficult, it's just trying to get that horizontal versus vertical balance right. And there it is, so it stepped out of the front of the circle, so in fact a no throw. Just lost his balance a little bit. And now Salman Pakbash looking to go. Oh, oh. Good speed, good speed. Can he hold it in front? He does. Oh, that might go out beyond the 16 metres. What a way to finish that Asian Power Games record is at 15.67. Boy, great speed across the circle. There it is, 16.15. So that is a very, very good performance from the man from the Islamic Republic of Iran, New Asian, Paragames record and gold medal. Goes around and acknowledges his competitors. And there it is. So Sultanov will pick up the silver, Shamshiri the bronze. Oh, wonderful to see. Islamic Republic of Iran, Uzbekistan. Second of the athletes out of the People's Republic of China, Ding Peijing. But there he is, Yang Yi Fei, Ding, and Seven will be looking for the upset as well. Oh, false start, and I think it might be the defending champion who might have gone, Bin Mohammed Puzi. Well, that would be a disaster if it is. I think he knows that it. So the defending champion, the Asian Para Games record holder, might have just false started and might be out of this final. And that would be devastating for him and his country. And he will go. That Asian Para Games record 11.87, Asian record 11.79. And this time they did get away cleanly. Great start coming from Matsumoto in lane four. But as expected now, it is the pre-race favourite, Yang, who starts to get into his work, but on the outside, here comes Ding, and it'll be Ding of the People's Republic of China who'll win it in an upset over Yang, and then Matsumoto of Japan. What a performance from Ding Pei Yang of the People's Republic of China in lane seven. He's done it, he's won it, but he's damaged his hamstring in the process. Yang Yifei will have to settle for the silver medal. Takuro Matsumoto, the bronze. Nobody can deny the Asian Para Games champion. And there it is, 11.80. So new games record just outside the Asian record by one one hundredth of a second. Ding Beijing of the People's Republic of China. Now we go to the women's shot put F41 final.
out. That was a UD. Another really explosive athlete. Another good throw. Pretty happy with that. Really happy with that. 8.49 and why not? Look at that. Look at the very first throw, just what she's thrown at the end. She's done everything asked of her. But 9.36, 9.59 from Kakamova. Wow, that might be close to 9.50. We'll have to wait. Now, Kakamova. World record sits at 10.55. And so there it is. Her best throw, 9.64 gold medal at the moment. So, game's record. Set in the women's shot put. Go 38. What is the target? Good rotation, release points nice. And we'll have to wait. Marker in the ground there. 38 7 3. So getting up closer to 39. Look at that. Absolutely loving it. happy tough sport so many different components technically to it and if you get one aspect of it wrong well everything else flows so best throw of 36.88 capable now we will have to check Mina whether in fact she's throwing a world record we saw her pretty excited earlier with a throw of 37.04 which is not that far short let's have a look here so it will be gold and silver and confirming that world record 38.73 so world record has gone that's really good exceeds it by 23 centimetres And Zarif Sanawai got away brilliantly in lane seven, as did Dumini of Thailand and James Ang of Singapore in five. And immediately going out very quickly, though, it is Dumini of Thailand in lane six. Can he hold the form, though? Can he control it? Big challenge comes on his outside from Zarif Sanawai of the Islamic Republic of Iran. And now his fellow countryman begins to make a move, too. Elena Yemi, and it is Elena Yemi there in lane four, who shows his class. Big fight back coming here, though, from Dimini of Thailand. It's going to be a really, really good race between these two. And it will be Dimini of Thailand picks up the gold medal. Lane seven, it'll be Sarah Sunny Yate of the Islamic Republic who will get the bronze but it's this man from Thailand who will stand on the highest step of the podium and they'll put a gold medal around his neck and he will be forever Asian Para Games champion
Rosti Mohamed Fayez. Shama of India. Three and three quarter laps. They do get underway. 1500 meter final, one of the Blue Ribbon events. Fairly pedestrian start. No one really deciding to take it out too quickly. Freitas decides that he wants to go from team warp. Now some athletes will want to run from the front. They will want to dictate the pace. They'll want to keep it nice and controlled. They want to, want to be dictated to. But this is a very, very fast start now coming from the man from Timor. Freitas, got to be careful. You do not want to confuse ability with ambition too early. Easy to get caught up in front of the big crowds, get a bit of an adrenaline rush. The rest of the field happy just to sit back and watch at the moment, having faith, maybe having belief that he will come back to the lead group. But a really good, fast, aggressive start. His form looks fantastic, but he's only going through the first 400. It's like he's running through wet concrete at the moment. And here comes Sharma. The Guza of Japan well and truly in the hurt box. It'd be a remarkable achievement though if Freitas could hang on, just pick up a medal here. He could still win it. Sharma. This would be one of the great performances, one of the great upsets. But just since it's only a matter of time, beautifully time run here from Raman Sharma of India. Freitas of Timor still hanging tough. Sharma comes at him. Freitas surges again. Sharma. Sharma takes the lead. Sharma will win the gold medal. Freitas the silver and one of the great performances. That is fantastic. And the bronze medal will go the way of Ingusa Chakafumi. What a moment for India. The timed run of Raman Sharma, but possibly the hero, certainly the crowd favourite, Teofilo Freitas of Timor. Stunning performance.